Hello there, Pisces, and welcome. Let's find out what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your situation. Okay, you might be dealing with, you know, a person or perhaps in the past you dealt with someone that wasn't honest about a situation, maybe not honest or did not know how to show true feelings. You know, we could have been gas, uh, gaslit or someone's a pretender. So take your pick, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. You may, you may need to be careful of others wearing masks at this time. And also, you know, take it if it resonates. It may not for all of you, but, you know, sometimes we can end up playing a role that really isn't a part of our authentic self or a new expression of, you know, some type of transformation that has taken place. And so there may be a need to just let go of an old role. But yeah, we are dealing with something here where honesty is just not being reciprocated. What else for Pisces? Oh, Pisces, you may be giving your power away or pay attention not to give your power away, especially because, again, there may be someone you're dealing with or you've dealt with in the past and we're just maybe obsessing <laughs> or we're just feeling like something just wasn't right. But anyhow, do not give your power away. This might be a time where, you know, I'm, I'm seeing in my mind's eye the Knight of Swords, and I sense this about you, where you might be guided to call things out or, you know, confront things that are needing to be confronted in a way that, you know, you can handle in a very powerful way so that you're not giving your power away. Because I do feel that we're cutting through some type of BS now, some of you, you've already dealt with that. You've already cut through some BS. You just need to stay powerful in this place of great changes happening for you because your energy does not vibe with this inauthenticity that is going on, this fakery. There may be someone who could also, I mean, I'm just seeing two masks, but you know, someone that's like, um, what is it? Uh, Two-Face or something like that. You know, I, I don't want to make this a negative reading. It's not a negative reading, okay? It's just that spirit is guiding you to just pay attention here, to not give your power away. <clears throat> what else for Pisces? Yeah, you are loved beyond measure here. Spirit is saying you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be cherished. And also know that if something is uncomfortable, it just might be a blessing in disguise. Spirit is carrying you into a situation where you can feel abundant, feel some type of reciprocity here. Look at this on the other side. <laughs> You're here for a reason. Don't F it up, <laughs> right? Don't give your power away. All right, let's see. What else? Because you are powerful. That's the thing is that you're too powerful. Okay, look at that. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. You know, this might be someone that, that you might be dealing with or, again, have dealt with in the past that just carries this energy of not enough. And you might be feeling this way yourself. Something may have happened here, right, where we've, you know, given into insecurities, fear, or a lack of confidence, Let's get more of um, what spirit wants you to know about this not enough for Pisces. What's important for Pisces to know? And, you know, uh, I feel that, again, that there's something that is not being reciprocal here in a way that it should be or should have been. <clears throat> What's important for Pisces to know about this not enough? This, there, there is something here where, you, you know, you could have dealt with a pretender, you could be pretending yourself, but now it's time to give in to something new. It might be time to what may seem to risk it all. I mean, not necessarily where you're risking something in a way that's going to be detrimental, de detrimental, but in a way that could be adventurous. It's time to get curious. 
Now, there could have been a lack of interest or spark or chemistry here as well. It's just something was not, uh, not enough to keep something going. Okay, what else? got that four of pentacles and we got the world card. We might be closing someone out or off here. This also may be a time where you have to be very cautious or, you know, be vigilant about your internal resources because what's ever going on internally will appear externally as well. Now, some of you, you know, if you start saving or have been putting away some money, for some future travels, you may attain that. That may not resonate for all of you. I'm just seeing it, so I'm just bringing it up here. But we do have this thing where, you know, we're letting go of the need to be possessive, or maybe there was someone that you dealt with that was possessive here. Now, just watch out for that sense of being possessive because I feel that we're finding a new uh, profound freedom with not having to cling on to something because something so much better is on its way. You know, you've already learned lessons here when it, when it comes to, you know, taking care of yourself or your needs, or you're being guided to take better care of yourself and your needs so that we have more stability and security here. It's like some type of closure is really necessary here. And I do feel that someone just wasn't giving you enough. I mean, look at this four of pentacles. This is like a card of being greedy. <laughs> You know, someone was just too greedy for their own selfish needs. They just, you know, whatever it is. But you may need to watch out for another to be greedy for your time, your energy, your attention. All right, what else? Mm, sadness, missing you. We got this card of separation. See, we might be clinging on to something here. Again, you know, someone is not revealing something true here, or there may be just too much hidden from you. Thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So let's get more about this separation. What's important for spirit to know about this separation? And remember what I just said too. I know it can be hard, but, you know, don't cling, you know, or try to pay attention if you are clinging. I know it can be hard at times, but something so much better is coming that you do deserve. What's important for uh, Pisces to know about the separation? And that's another thing. Separation is also an illusion, right? Because you got this blue angel. Oh, look at the, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so sweet. Because here you are feeling maybe alone, isolated or separate or heartbroken or you know, we're just longing for something, you know, we just can't explain, but it's all within you. So, you know, you got this blue angel. Oh my God. I love this. Okay. Look at this. I Archangel Michael am here by your side. I'm all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful, I love you all is well. So we may be giving, uh, you know, our power away when it comes to giving too much you know, uncertainty into the future. But spirit is saying that you are in a place of divine protection. Look at that, you know, wreath that is around you. That's a shield of divine protection. What else? See how much you're loved here? And I do feel that spirit is, okay, I do feel that you would also resonate with uh, the messages someone needs now. The uh, link to that video is in the description box. You know, you're hearing the call. You're hearing the divine's calling here. The divine's love call. <laughs> oh my God, yes, because you're the bomb. You are the shit. Never forget this, okay? Don't forget it. Now, there may be something about a free reading. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, this is just the advertisement on that. But, yeah, don't forget it. You are the shit. Okay, excuse my language, but that's just what's on the card. 
If you're sensitive to profanity, then, well, just get over it, okay? What else for? <laughs> for Pi Oh, my gosh, Pisces. Cards are just wanting to talk to you. Oh, the sad, that period of sadness is ending. You may need to give yourself some time to honor yourself though, right? Now, another could also be sad that you're moving on. Okay. They, you, some of you Pisces really did pick up on something here and maybe someone is feeling blue, you know, that maybe you, they, you found out about them, but mostly I do feel that this is about you giving yourself time to honor your emotions don't give too much of your power or focus away to those three cups because spirit is saying there is this internal, you know, etern eternal love here behind you with the two of cups. It's just hard to notice it because there's something like a, there's something that we're blocking here, right? So this four of pentacles is a card of we're blocking something. We're not seeing something or just pay attention because before you know it, Love is all around you. See, that's the whole thing. Look at that. Love is all around you. I love you all as well. You just may not see that because the two of cups represents love in, in tarot. Okay, five of cups. Water signs coming out. Earth sign, fire sign is coming out. What else? Okay. Yeah, you've been deceived here. Now, whether it was on purpose or not, because you never know, people go through life and their own lessons and their own stories. But there was something where spirit says, yeah, you were deceived about something here, but spirit is doing what spirit can to really guide and protect you to know and to trust that spirit loves you, that you are loved, that you're being brought situations where you can feel appreciated and supported. Also, I am seeing this thing too, where um, either you or both of you or someone you dealt with did not feel enough. Okay, look at that four pentacles page. It's like this inexperience or inadequate, uh, in, we're not um, adequate or we're feeling inadequate here with maybe time, resources, money, experience, whatever. And you deserve so much more. Surrender. There's no point in pushing the barrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There is an easier way. When the time is right, a new path will appear. You're hearing the call or you're about to get an important call, okay, from the divine here that will help you move forward. You can turn your fear or um, maybe something with anxiety or worry into curiosity. Uh, let's see, what else? But yeah, you're meant to surrender right now, not go upstream. A and remember, you are doing something where you are conserving internal resources, which is your energy. So the more you can surrender, the better off you're going to be. And the more that you're investing in yourself which will be beneficial for you. Oh God, look at that, the devil. <laughs> I'm not surprised, not surprised here. There's no uh, point in pushing the barrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start if you need to. And the start is this page of wands here. Yeah, hey, look at that negativity here, this devil card. You're giving your power away, right? The, the devil sucks energy. It loves to suck energy, okay? It thrives off sucking energy. Um, let's see. Let's get more about this devil. What's important about, okay, what's this going on? Oh, they broke your heart. Mm. And this lightning, look at that. It's like lightning strike. Yes, they broke your heart. But we might be really obsessed by this. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. I got to show this to you. And you are figuring something out on your own. And some of you, the thing is, is they need to figure shit out on their own instead of using you. Okay, they broke they broke your heart and look. Mm -hmm. Have fun, man. Go see that. <laughs> hmm. I want more with that too. 
Give us something a little bit more satisfying. I know it's F them, but <laughs> let's see. Mm. Spirit is saying, just stop complaining and don't whine. You want to know why? Archangel Michael is protecting you and has protected you from some type of negative force, negative energy here, or something that co could potentially be really toxic. So don't complain. Stop whining. You're making a big change, and change is happening actually here. <laughs> yeah. You have the strength to change the world, so do it. What else? And this isn't to take away your time to mourn here, but... Yeah, we got the will of fortune. Nice. Yes, surrender. There isn't any point of pushing up a, such a steep hill. You know, there's um, changes that are beyond your control here. So we've got the will of fortune. Let's see where this will of fortune is going for you. And it is interesting because look at this wreath is like a circle. And we got this circle here. Oh. Let's get more about this will of fortune for Pisces. Oh, look at that. You're the best thing that ever happened to you. It's like, congratulations. Allow something or someone to fall off here that's meant to. Okay. This is karmic events turning in your favor. And you are the best thing that ever happened to you. And be easy on yourself, Spirit is saying. Sometimes you get too hard on yourself. What else? You may need to pay attention here to whether or not you're letting things pass by. Perhaps some of you are sleeping too much or there just may be something where, you know, you might be feeling like you're on default, you know, like you're just sleepwalking through life because something has got us in a weird place, right? Now we're like, wake up, wake up. That lightning strikes. That's, that's Archangel Michael <laughs> waking you up, by the way telling you something is about to change and you need to pay attention here. Yes, you're going through some tough shit. Oh, Pisces. Yeah. Oh my God. This was like you, you had your turn here. Oh my God. It was like this turn. What can you let Pisces know about this? Going through some tough stuff, I'm going through some tough stuff, but you are the bomb. Okay, let's get more about this. Aww. You you need to detox. Have you eaten? Oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot going on. You know what? We might be sulking, and it's okay to sulk. Sometimes we have to do that, but there is something going on. Yeah, you got to watch out. There may be, not all of you, but some of you, you may want to get back at someone or do something, or you may need to watch out for someone being shady here because that devil energy is at play in that mask, okay? It's like, love them, let them go. <clears throat> you just need to take care of yourself. So while you're going through some, or if you've gone or already have gone through the, some tough stuff, you know, time to eat, time to detox, um, drink a smoothie, unfriend that a-hole or the negativity, detox from that negativity, throw some shit out. What is this? You need food in your belly. There may be something with eating a taco or just get some food in your belly that feels comforting because it is about getting comfort right now in a place where it has been uncomfortable. And yes, you know, it's like this wheel of fortune. You dealt with a misfortune here, but things have to turn. Okay, what else? Mm. You may be obsessing here or pay attention to whether or not you're looking or stalking something here, right? Put the effing phone down. Oh, too much screen time may make you feel awkward or sad. Go talk to a person or be willing to get out a little bit more. But I do feel that we may need to just um, disconnect from maybe the phone or computer or social media, whatever you need, an hour, a day, a two, whatever, okay? Maybe there's something about seeking refuge or solace out in nature here. What else? And some of you, it could 
the, you know, there's something that's going awry here because I feel we're being bombarded by some type of weird negative energy that's trying to penetrate your light, okay? Because that vampire, or that vampire, I'm like talking about the vampire here, like wants to suck that light. It's got a straw. I mean, think of the devil having a straw and like sucking your, look at that, that's like a straw right there. So, like putting it in your aura, right? A little hole there and sucking it little by little, but no, no, we're not gonna do that. That's why you're like, I, I get this whole thing about you being highly sensitive right now. And that's what you need to pay attention to so that you can move away and step into this miracle. Our, our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work and all will turn out well. You know, a higher power. Look at the, the divine's hand turning the wheel. What else? Clarity. Okay, so close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in the blue of the sky. Feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace. There is clarity. A magical healing has just taken place. A gift from your guardian angel. So pay attention to those moments that you get a sigh of relief. You know, that's Archangel Michael and your guardian angels coming through, giving you glimpses of clarity. That's that lightning. Those epiphanies or maybe a bunch of epiphanies that build up into one big epiphany, you know, whatever it is. But we do have something being cleared here for you. What else? You got to get the F out of your head. Because, you know, we could be ruminating on stuff and it could be growing toxic here. And that's what the devil likes. The devil loves it when we're worried or ruminating on something or someone. Again, it's that straw sucking that energy, right? And what you're doing is shielding and protecting yourself, your energy, And I do sense this thing where spirit is saying, look, Pisces, you, your possessions, your loved ones are all being protected by heaven. Oh gosh, we got to drop the ego here. We got that devil here. So yeah, we, you know, we all have ego. So don't worry. We all get to play with it. But again, that's what that devil loves. It loves when we, we give into too much of thinking and too much into maybe, um, you know, being possessive or feeling some type of, you know, hardship when it comes to letting go of the unnecessary. Oh, spirit wants, oh, look at this. Vulnerability is hot as F. <laughs> it's like, hmm, maybe we do need to drop the shield and let love in or allow something to move within your emotional body here right? Because think of like that emotional body where, you know, we're just giving into so much of this, right? Grief and mourning, which is fine because we all have to give into it. It's only when we give too much of our power into this, when it becomes unbalanced, unfavorable. Um, now I didn't even know where I was going with that, but I had a good point. Maybe it'll come to me, but anyhow, what else? creative potential. That's this page of rods here. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all of your heart desires. Okay, now I was getting that whole thing about the the emotional body, that exchange of the emotional body because if you think about it, if we're giving too much into that, you know, our emotional body becomes like stagnant, like swampy. You know, like a swamp. And we need that inner exchange here. So you are being guided to communicate with friends or family or others right now when the time presents itself because we're moving that moldy energy that the devil, devil likes anyways, that swampy, you know, fly ridden, mosquito ridden place. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> 
So we are being gifted something powerful and something new, but you got to pay attention to where you're giving your power to, okay? Because it's like when we need the gas, right? Because someone took all of your gas because we got a gas lighter here, took all your gas for something creative, so we're getting it back, okay? That's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Watch and wait here, too. Some of you reassess things right now. See what worked for you and what didn't work, you know? Be willing to really look at what you want to continue to nurture and what you don't want to continue to nurture. But also, I do see something favorable here. Maybe it wasn't so favorable when it came to time, energy, or resources and money, but patience is the key here. And again, you may need to stay vigilant. I, I do feel that we're not doing anything risky as well, okay, especially when it comes to... Um, Investing in things that may seem like a uh, shortcut to a bigger, like, gain. Slow and steady is the best right now. I want more, too, with the uh, Seven of Pentacles. We got Earth sign coming through. Some of you may even be into agriculture, farming, or there may be something about property here. Investing in property. Some of you guys could be part of or... You might find yourself being part of some type of nature, um, conserve, uh, uh, nature conservation. So just take that if it resonates. Let's get more about the Seven of Pentacles. Adventure, instead of, oh my God. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all the possibilities. There are more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between. See, so we are reevaluating. We're seeing what worked, what didn't, but also implementing something new. And I do feel that if we get too much into black and white, this is where the ego likes control because it likes to have, you know, things be very explainable, you know, but if we can stay neutral and maybe blend with things, then this doesn't have so much power. We surround you with healing light of amethyst. You might be full of some type of worry or concern or watch out because that devil wants to play and make you feel nervous. That's what the devil loves. More anxiety more stress, more work, more worry, more, right? We surround you though with healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. What else? You need to get outside, maybe take an adventure, move your body, do something. Remember, we are we don't want something to kind of linger and be stagnant and get moldy. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> that's how that devil energy comes off to me is like something that's been sitting too long. Okay. We do have the hermit here. So we do have, you know, a sign of an illuminated one, maybe taking some time out, doing a little retreat if you need to, getting outside, an adventure here with you or another or others that you might find some type of spiritual connection or, you know, maybe just fi finding a place where you don't have to do all the work. Virgo is coming through with the hermit here. Yeah, I just feel that you are putting the phone down or you're putting something down, unplugging and plugging into your light here and allowing your light to lead the way, not this damn darkness, right? <laughs> or something or someone that's trying to like put themselves in front of you. It's like, oh yeah, Pisces, keep looking at it. Keep being sad about that, you know, keep giving into that because, you know, again, that's what the devil likes to do. What else? 
Mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs. Oh, someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all it takes. Look at that. We even have this thing about dropping the ego here. You know, so there may be a need where, hmm, we got to use compassion here. Resist the need to be right, possibly. And also, some of you are, you know, doing something to help others. So you may be hearing the call and leading the way to help others that needs your love, that needs your light or guidance here. Archangel Uriel, a great spiritual transformation is, a, is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. This is what you're creating. So it may not seem fun at times, but this is what you're doing and moving through to bridge heaven on earth here. You've planted the seeds and you're getting ready for a great harvest. What else? You will soon receive some positive news. See, you're going to receive a harvest, some type of communication or good news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. So keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. You know, we may need to, we may have an opportunity to come clean with something here that really is a very cleansing process or doing something new where you're not holding back because you've learned something when it comes to holding back or, you know, maybe not engaging when something has passed by, but you are going to be keeping an open heart and speaking your truth lovingly. And I would say too, like, um, you don't fear of hurting another one's feelings, you know, cause the only thing that's hurting is yours. Cause there is a way to be tactful about it. Okay. What else? Nope. That's it. Okay. So let's find out what are the blessings that are coming towards you, Pisces. A healing angel <laughs> at this very moment you're being bathed in gold and pink and deep green light accept this healing we are your angels we surround you with wings of love you are eternally free eternally fresh and eternally abundant what else divine intervention you may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully slow, yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing, oh my gosh, when the timing is perfect harmony, excuse me, when the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. We we're just talking about you harvesting and coming, getting your fruit, you know, your fruits, your, you know, what, what, what am I trying to say? Labor, your, your fruits of your labor. Okay, so we have divine intervention. And remember that um, lightning here. Change. It's all happening here, that wheel of fortune. What else for blessings? They're, your angels are really making themselves presents, uh, present. So hopefully you're tuning into that. I know a lot of you are. You've called, relief is coming, but you may need to, some of you, it's like, pay attention, you know, because we all do this. We get into a place where, you know, we could be talking about it, thinking, well, not only thinking about it, but talking about it, complaining about it, and then it just keeps like reoccurring or the feeling just never goes away but it will just give yourself some time. And we got this card of imagine. Okay. So we've got, we definitely have like ace of wands or, uh, ace of swords coming through clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul. And so it will come to be. So it really is important to visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart. Like how would it feel to have the life that that you want without getting too caught up in the details and who it is, what it is, how it should be. Cause that's the job of the heavens here. Cause you're just surrendering to imagination 
And if you think about it, when you do give into imagination, it's very open and expansive here. So something is going to open you up and get you curious and passionate. Look at that determination. Determination and perseverance and patience will lead to a positive outcome. Okay, and there's a card that wants to come out with that determination. So you're not giving up here, you know. It's like when the tough gets going, the going gets tough. But you come out a winner. What wants to come out with this determination? Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, we might be doing some type of detox or reevaluating something where, you know, some of you guys, you take this if it resonates, but I'm seeing another message with this, so I'll read it, but then let's go over this. Yeah, it's like step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. So there may be something here where we're just staying determined on not making things so rigid in one's life, right? Because maybe we've set up rules and sometimes we can do that, right? We, sometimes we set up rules for our own selves, but then we're like, we end up building walls that way. You know, I feel that there's something where, you know, being easy on yourself will help you actually stay more determined. So I see you just having a fine balance between perseverance, determination, working hard, playing hard, right? Eating some yummy stuff, <laughs> I'm seeing a harvest here, enjoying the fruits of your labor because your determination has paid off. Anything else? Okay, no. So that's all that spirit will give us for the blessings that are headed your way. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you, Pisces. Love and light and take care.